Here we are. So, um, let's jump in. Full spoilers ahead, everybody. Um, for Horizon Forbidden West, we'll jump in with our general thoughts, general rev review, and you can throw in all the spoilers you want into it. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, and then we'll start jumping into specifics and try to go in chronological-ish <coughs> yeah, order through the yeah. story. And we, and through that, mm -hmm. we can sort of jump around to whatever catches our eye, whether that be the actual gameplay, the open world, the other little things that we may think of, the characters mm -hmm. and stuff along the way. <coughs> uh, I, I'm, I'm totally with you guys. <coughs> I thought this game was incredible. I've said it for weeks. I can't believe this game's better than Zero Dawn. I didn't think it was possible. Mm -hmm. um, after Zero Dawn and just based on the, all the stuff it revealed about the world and, and, and it being the first one and it introducing us to the world and everything being so like you, you're just in this like bewilderment of like this oh my god like learning all the backstory about what's happened and who Aloy is and surely like they can't recreate that again and they did and they blew it out of the water to be honest and like you said James they made Horizon mm -hmm. Zero Dawn better Mm -hmm. along with it so I think yeah the game's absolutely phenomenal I thought Aloy grew tremendously they had a lot of good um, interesting tropes and things they explored with her as a character and things she had to face in this story that really pushed her that really challenged uh, challenged her which I mm -hmm. thought was, was great to see um, so yeah I, I, I just thought it was absolutely amazing and this, lots of the side characters even from Zero Dawn like, I, when, when, when we finished with Zero Dawn, I, I, I thought, oh, obviously, I love Aloy. Mm -hmm. I can't wait to see what's next for her. And there's other characters I like, <laughs> like Silence or what's going to happen there. Um, but when I'm thinking about Forbidden West, I'm like, all I care about is obviously seeing Aloy again. And obviously, you're going to see Silence and yeah, that'll be great. But I didn't really <clears> care <throat> for anyone else. I didn't care if I didn't see, you know, Val. But Errand anyone again no i was like whatever like i liked really? him i liked Aaron him but was I, probably my favorite sporting he was he, he was mo one. yeah same same but Other then than you like go silence if you count him yeah. yeah exactly yeah yeah and i'm with you like i love rost and stuff but, he, but he's dead so like you're not gonna see him in for yeah, the yeah. west rost is gonna um, come back in the third one as a big robot <laughs> yeah uh, uh yeah and i think this game just <clears throat> did an amazing job to not only make me love characters from zero dawn even more like i can't wait to see erin again in this third game right uh it mm. made val was mvp of psycho oh, he was yeah. amazing so <laughs> good. he was so un good believable it was, was so it was actually it was actually it should be against the law how good he w went from being like how improved he was from that first game yeah to this ridiculous. game it's like ridiculous. i can't so good. have you ever seen a game Take a side character mm -hmm. that's been in this franchise and make them that much better in a scene. No, I, I don't think I, I don't have. think I've ever Wild. seen it. Before. Like he was a nice guy in like Horizon Zero Dawn, but you just didn't really see him very much. He was only in the Nora Sacred Lands, and he was like a character that you meet at the beginning and then don't really see again. And then it's like, mm. well, he helps you at the end when you fight a Meridian, uh, when you fight Hades yeah. and Meridian. And uh, when you but... come back to the All Mother Mountain as well to fight the Thunder Jaw, he's there with the yeah, yeah, yeah. matriarchs. But, yeah. Yeah. but in this, but in this game, you're, you're, you're talking about a guy that was like the fucking Sam Diafrodo. Like the most loyal person yeah. that would do anything for you. And he was there to keep you oh. level-headed because he was he was almost Aloy's conscience at times. Yeah, yeah. To like, as she got swept up in the emotion and the responsibility and the weight of the world, she needed people. Like that was such a big part of her story in this game was her realizing she can't do it alone. Yeah, it You know, was. the game starts with her pushing everyone away. It starts mm -hmm. with, you know, everyone very disappointed that she just left them at the end of Zero Dawn. Yeah, when she was Sorry, like, I'm, I'm the busy. only exactly. one that exactly. can yeah. sort this problem Yeah, I'm out. the only one who can do it and it, Val was like, well, you, he, he just <laughs> sort of was like, well, you can't get away from me. I've sworn myself to you. And Aaron yeah. was just, is very sad about it. He's like, yeah, but you've got someone better to be like. That's how really pushing people away and it's like really tormenting her. I like Exactly. And, and you see yeah. that. But what she has to go through throughout this whole game is realizing and it's Val that shows her more than anyone else that she can't doesn't have to do this alone. Um, mm -hmm. and you know, she opens up, you know, to, to those people. So they made, you know, those zero dawn characters great, but they also have incredible original mm -hmm. characters, the new characters. Yeah. Oh, they're so I good. I love 
the new characters in this game, and yeah, they all I had like them. loyalty missions as yeah. well. Oh, like, it's so like, brilliant! Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, and that was a, the so Mass good. Effect <laughs> element to this game was so unexpected and so welcomed. Like, yeah, how, yeah. what a brilliant. great component to add to this game, and I think that's such a big standout for me as well, is that it added a whole new layer. Um, as a sequel to just the characters in the universe. Now I think about a third game and I'm like, man, oh, I can't wait to see Aloy. But then I'd start listing off. There's heaps of characters I can't wait to see return. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know? exactly. It's, it's not just um, it's not just Aloy now. There's so many. So, it's a team. It's like you've got this like, yeah. core team of characters now. Like I can't wait to see the main Horizon crew again. Yeah, it's um, like and the And see gang. who joins it. Yeah. Yeah. It's like it's yeah. really, really like good. Kingdom Hearts. So you've got you know, the the you got the like Sora, Riku, Kyrie, Mickey, Goofy, Donald, and everyone, and they're all like this group. And now in in yeah. Horizon Forbidden West, you've got the group of that game. And they're all yeah, such it's unique really, characters really cool. as well. Like it's, it's 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 amazing. Not not one of them is exactly the same as the last. Hmm. Uh, yeah. yeah, and I think I think to them, and I'm like, which is my favorite? I'm like, I don't know. They're all so interesting because i'm like oh well maybe like zoe because you meet her first but then i'm like but i really liked alva as well i thought like she was so yeah. interesting alva as a character and, like Cthulhu was so like i thought i thought he would annoy me like being like one of those classic tribal people but i love what i love is the way Cthulhu that the, they don't they don't linger on like what they are from the beginning it's like you can really see that development like as soon as they go back to the base they start using the focus like they're learning all these new things and they yeah. talk to you about it and you can see over the course of the game the more conversations you have they start picking <coughs> up on you know information they start picking up on these particular like, phrases and words they change the way they speak to you and yeah. it's like you like they're starting to learn and like it's not the way i thought they would go with horizon at all like having more people like aloy like more people learning all this information and then wanting to go out and spread the word as well yeah uh, um, but at the end when they so sort cool. of go out and s- spread the word of like what everything yeah. is happening and the truth of like the old ones and stuff like that it's so fucking cool it's so cool it's such a cool oh. idea and i i never thought of it like that's one of the things i think makes this game so strong is that there was a way that like everything we were speculating about this game for such a long time just wasn't the game that we got and i think that's I so good because like you I know that, that post credit just... scene isn't like indicative of the game at all like the one from zero dawn where silence no. gets hades and it like turns to the me- like the metal devil like that's not the game we got like that's that was completely a sort of misdirect where when you start the game you kill hades right at the beginning and then it's like yeah. wait so what is this game about then if it's not about hades because he's gone now like it's I thought like the so interesting this game was going to be about just another of guys subordinate functions and it was going to focus entirely on another one oh, of dude, guys that's what i thought functions. like the, you yeah, barely yeah. really worried like the storms <laughs> and like all that that was like a tiny little component to it it was barely at all that's what they sold the game as this and i was yeah. a little worried about that i was like oh, okay so another subordinate function and it causes weather issues okay cool we'll mm-hmm. deal with that like that's all yeah thing. like no that's like the first hour bro uh, exactly. and then you find and you out that, that, that there's people so from another on. planet but they're actually from Earth they're a thousand years old and they're indestructible and they're here to kill everyone yeah. and it's like wait what the yeah, fuck amazing. are you talking and about another and that's like of four hours yeah and yeah. you're like yeah, four hours into the game introduced. and yeah and there's this this moment <laughs> so of like where your jaw drops and you're like wait what this is so yeah. early in the game this feels like an end game moment and you realise that this is what the game's about yeah yeah when, and you're like holy shit what it was the crazy fuck? like when you're in the uh the, the hades proving lab and you're just like you don't know what's you're talking to, who are you talking to is si- silence talk silence to you, yeah. You yeah and he's like oh these people are coming you know once they see you're a clone of elizabeth sobeck you know you'll be fine and then it's like who are these people and i was expecting it to just be like this another tribe that's like you know enthusiastic about you know elizabeth sobeck or about you know the 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 ancestors as the quen put it but it wasn't it was these fucking like sci-fi looking like fucking people with like these reflective shields and like crazy like sci-fi like armor on I, i can't even explain the design of the zeniths it is just so like unique they looked really like cool, something yeah. from Destiny <laughs> to an extent. Yeah, I really loved how, like, they looked so out of place <clears throat> yeah. at a lot of points. Like, I, I thought that was, like, yeah. a really good decision. Like, they don't gel with the world at all yeah, in a lot of ways. Yeah, because they've been away from the world for a thousand years, so it just shows yeah. how, they just how so distant they are. Yeah. Yeah. 
and I liked that a lot about it, and I thought it was really cool. There was a moment, like, talking about the Hades Proving Lab, there was a really cool moment, and it adds into Aloy's arc that I thought was cool, is where you, there's a little message in there that you can, like, not a message, like a recording mm -hmm. of Elizabeth doing research with, uh, what's the guy's name, Travis Tate? Yeah. Um, and she's it's where like he's proposing like a party or whatever like to celebrate what they're doing yeah. and elizabeth just sort of shuts him down and leaves and aloy's a bit confused as to like <clears throat> why she would do that and so like silence basically sort of like explains in like a roundabout way like that you know elizabeth was very concerned with saving the world but she didn't seem to care too much for the people in it mm. which was like a weird thing like you see this new side to elizabeth and you sort of <clears throat> see that aloy's chasing that but it's like like yeah. in direct contradiction to who she actually is because aloy isn't like elizabeth directly like aloy no, very not. much cares about every person she meets she's like that's her core character trait is she just connects yeah. with everyone as long as so they're easily. respectful to her she, she'll she'll return that that respect back. yeah exactly exactly and, and that's what we see in beta as well like, yeah and that's the thing totally like different character as well yeah and oh i love like the relationship oh, dude, beta was so annoying beta. at the beginning like when, we, she when got you good, first she was she, sucked she did get time. good yeah she she, she well fucking... yeah but i i mean what i liked early on was that i mean obviously she'd been through so much like she was never gonna be like aloy and i liked that they represented that but i also really liked seeing aloy's frustration with it because it showed that she did just didn't understand like she yeah. couldn't comprehend why a clone of herself pretty much didn't have that same spark and same drive to want to do what was right. She just yeah, couldn't it's like understand we're both why. Pieces of Elizabeth, why am I this exactly, hero? Yeah. And Beta's just this fucking Beta bitch that sits there. Exactly, crying. and because in her head beta. as well, she's like, <clears throat> yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, but Aloy, like in her head, she's like, well, both of us were outcasts. Like both of us didn't get to interact with a lot of people. And like when it dawns on her, that, like the main reason was because of Rost. Oh, like, how his, good is that, oh, dude? That was, like, his so good. Being the father Ross to Aloy. It? Oh yeah. my god, that was such a moment. That to like unite both Aloy and Beta together, it was just yeah, just absolutely such a. It was like a, a big moment. sister moment, and the fact that they start calling each other sister at the end. I was oh, like, that that's moment that was nice. That that's moment so to cool. Tilda where she's like, "That's between me and my sister." I was like, I didn't yeah. expect her to say that, but I'm like, they are sisters. Like, yeah, that makes so much sense. Like.